Any SRK fans here in the audience who watched the movie Chuck the India? Disclaimer, I'm one of them. Sat minute. Sat minute hai mere paas. I've got seven minutes. Hello everyone, as you can see, I feel on top of the world. Well, yes, I'm giving a TED talk for the first time. It's very exciting. And it's all right if you can't match my energy right now. I'm just hoping that by the end of my speech, I can rub off some of my enthusiasm on you. I'm 15 years old and I aspire to be an actor. Now, when someone makes this kind of a statement, the immediate response will be a flabbergasted face. Are you serious? Do you even know how unpredictable it is? It's an abyss, man. You don't even have any contacts or godfather in the industry. How are you going to survive the nepotism, the harsh criticism, the rejection? Now, all of this is registered in my head like some sort of a mantra. Acting as a career is still considered a bit taboo. Orthodoxically and stereotypically, I've been hearing comments for the past years about how, despite being excellent in subjects like math and science, I'm deciding to pursue a completely unconventional career path. It's made me realize that when you go off the grid, you're bound to be questioned. And you have to have an iron fist to deal with that. Dealing with constructive criticism, snarky comments, social embarrassment, I've been trying to do all of that. I know I might not be completely immersed in that field yet, but I think I might know a thing or two about unconventionality. Being Indians, we've always had certain stereotypes. Apparently, it's just the way of living that we've adapted to. We follow that mainstream line of a good school, a good college, a good job, a good plan. Study, get good grades, repeat, and our life map is laid until the age of 30. Now, I admit that our country has a very high under 30 working class percentage, but even today, I see examples around me of adults under or over the age of 30 who didn't get a chance to pursue what they were actually aiming for. And they spend their entire lives imagining themselves differently, if only they had made a certain choice for themselves. Till date, I've seen people who are nudged and pressured into walking on a path they never chose. It's like we've made a template of how life is going to be, but to be truly happy, you need to have that fascination, that amusement, that excitement that adventure, maybe even some uncertainty. Because you don't want to be living the same monotonous routine every day, right? Forceful work is what causes half the amount of stress in anyone's mind. And I guess now you know why you feel stressed during exams, or because it's the best example of forceful work. Psychologically, if we analyze, we never feel bored or stressed when we do something we love, because our passion drives our dedication. It's as simple as that. Now, if I'm playing a FIFA game, and I'm losing one nil, I'm going to want to get back into the lead. It's a simple example. Even if we do have stress, it's probably because we care enough about it. And there have been several discussions regarding going off the grid. Even movies like Three Idiots, one of my favorites, has portrayed an unconventional take on education in an entertaining yet impactful way. But how many directors actually have the courage to make a movie on such a topical issue and address the audiences? What I feel is we've begun to possess such a mentality that our decisions nowadays are influenced by others. We're swayed by what our acquaintances think, what the society expects, what status is required to be maintained. It's the classic, log kya kahenge, or what will people say, risk-free mindset. And to that, my reply is, kuch to log kahenge, logo ka kaam hai kya na. Translation, people will criticize you. It's just that common. Their fear forces us to go through a grind just to get that stability. But is that the only way to get respect and recognition? I've got a long list of examples. Actors who found their way and excelled at it without nepotism in both Hollywood and Bollywood. Shah Rukh Khan, Gary Oldman, Ben Affleck, Rami Malek, Manoj Bajpayee, Amitabh Bachchan, Ranveer Singh, Rajkumar Rao. The list goes on, and I take great pride in saying that I come from the land of Satyajit Ray, one of the best filmmakers the world has ever seen. And he's Bengali. And he's also the first Indian to win a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Academy. Now, I could keep naming celebs and rap out their names for another seven minutes, but let's not digress. I'm not comparing myself to them, I'm just saying, maybe it's not impossible. Now, don't get me wrong, though. I don't want to judge anyone's process or aspirations. There's nothing wrong about conventionality, and I'm not undermining it. 
If someone's happy going down the mainstream lines, I'm in full support of that. But you shouldn't have the reluctancy to work at all. Every day should be a new adventure. You can't have any regrets and the decision has to be yours at the end of the day. So sometimes you just have to seize the day and do what really makes you happy. My journey up till now is also something that I would like to talk about, just so you know why I'm making this speech. Now it might be short and a bit un... sorry, inexperienced as of now, but it's played a major role in shaping my current personality. My first attachment to acting was when I went to watch my first film at the age of four, My Name is Khan. And since then I've been a Shah Rukh Khan fan. Now this attachment has brought about a persona that's made me who I am today. Now pardon me, but this is who I am. I love acting because it helps me empathize with different people, different situations, different stories. It not only amuses, but also gives you something memorable that will inspire you sooner or later. Now, of course, unconventional careers like these bring a total roller coaster ride with them. The highs get you all that glory, fame, attention, stardom, popularity. And the lows can totally break you down, rip you apart, drag you through the mud, and no one's going to care. I know you need to be prepared for both. And I always have a part of my mind loving the popularity about acting. It's overwhelming and flattering to have all eyes on you, but that's not the primary goal. The primary goal is simply to be happy, feel that satisfaction, that magic of the art. Like Sanford Meisner said, acting is just trying to be truthful in an imaginary situation. You're not trying to be someone else, you're just telling a story. And I love being a part of that storytelling process, that emotional connection between the performer and the audience. Every time I perform, the emotional pleasure I get is just so exhilarating and irreplaceable, like I'm getting it right now. And I think you'd rather have that than any form of external validation. Now my point is that these careers may seem attractive and dangerous at the same time, but if you have that passion in you, you're certain not to give up, then I don't think anything can stop you. Make your own choice, don't forcefully settle for anything else. You will eventually receive the fruition you deserve based on your perseverance and resilience. You don't need to prove your uniqueness or get anyone to accept it. They'll just come along with your dedication. If your words do not convince, portray your viewpoint through your actions. Your end result will be worth the efforts. And if it's not, it's probably not the end yet. Like they say in movies, picture abhi baki hai mere dost. So don't hold anything back and understand your potential. And I know you all might think that I'm just a teen passing some big talk, motivation and philosophy, and I don't know the ways of the world, but I just think that you'd rather try at a life you aspire for than get driven into a substitute one out of fear. When you take the road less traveled by, you have the chance to make a difference. At least there won't be any regret even if you fail. So don't build unrealistic expectations and wait but discover yourself and create your own opportunities. Because in today's world, there's only a certain extent till which materialistic value can keep you happy. You can't live freely without emotional value. So to end things off, my name is Rishit Goswami, and for the past five years, I've not hesitated once to say this, that I want to become an actor. Now, I'll try my best to work towards it. That's the decision I've made. And someone once told me that the first step is always to believe, and I think I've accomplished that. Now, in the words of my favorite guru, Baba Ranchordas from Three Idiots, played by Amir Khan, <laughs> as he once said, strive more for excellence, and success will just follow. Thank you very much.